And this just into CNN, we have breaking news. The Justice Department has now closed its investigation into former Vice President Mike Pence and his handling of classified documents. Now, back in January, CNN was first to report that an attorney for Pence found about a dozen documents marked as classified at his home in Indiana. That search was initiated after classified documents had been found in both the possession of Donald Trump and Joe Biden outside of you know, being in the, in the White House. Let's get to this with this breaking news. CNN's Caitlin Polance is, has part of the story. CNN's Paula Reed has the other side of this story. Caitlin, let me start with you. Tell us more about what we know about this now investigation being closed. Well, as of yesterday, the Justice Department told Mike Pence and his lawyers that they are not bringing any criminal charges. There will be no criminal charges, and this is the end of the investigation into classified documents that were found in Mike Pence's possession at his home in Indiana after he left the vice presidency. And so CNN has obtained this letter. I want to read. Uh, it's very short. It's about three sentences long. And it says, as you know, earlier this year, the Department of Justice was notified of the discovery of documents bearing classification markings at former Vice President Mike Pence's residence. The Federal Bureau of Investigation and the Department's National Security Division have conducted an investigation into the potential handling of classified information. Based on the results of that investigation, no criminal charges will be sought. So pretty short and sweet, pretty blunt from the Justice Department. Uh, and it ends a saga that n lasted not even half a year for Mike Pence, uh, at a time when in mid-January his lawyers was making was, were trying to make sure he had no White House records in his possession or executive branch records in his possession. They found about a dozen classified documents at his home in Indiana. Indiana contacted the federal government, got those documents back into the hands uh, of the FBI and the Justice Department, and that launched this investigation, this review of what happened there. Uh, and then there were two FBI searches, one at Pence's home in Indiana, one at his office uh, in Washington, D.C. They found one additional document with classified markings on it in those two searches. Uh, but that was really the extent uh, of what we know about what happened in that time and then bookended by the end of this uh, investigation yesterday with this letter to the, the Pence team. All right, this, this is an important moment for Mike, Mike Pence and his team for sure. Stick with me, Caitlin. I want to bring in Evan Perez really for more on this. Evan, tell me more about your reporting. What are you picking up on this? Well, uh, Kate, when, one of the things that, that, that certainly was b being raised uh, as a prospect here was the fact that we know Mike Pence is uh, going to announce for uh, his run for president uh, in the coming days. And so the question for the Justice Department has been, well, given the standard that the attorney general has set, uh, just a few months ago when he announced special counsels to investigate uh, the, the documents at uh, Mar-a-Lago, obviously, Donald Trump, and for President Biden, would he have to announce a special counsel for Mike Pence as well? The, this, uh, this announcement that the investigation is being closed really means that they can obviously go forward with the announcement of the former, of the former vice president uh, and his presidential run without any concern that the Justice Department is going to be announcing a special counsel. And we know that, you know, this, these types of reviews are very common. They're not unusual for the Justice Department and the FBI. They do interviews. They check to see whether they're, you know, with the documents, where, who owns these documents to make sure that there was any damage done by where they were being held. And then, you know, usually these things uh, get wrapped up very quietly. Obviously, the context, because of who we were talking about, the former vice president mm -hmm. and, of course, the ongoing investigations into the former president and the current president, made this a lot different, Kate. Absolutely. Evan, thank you. Stick with me. I want to also bring in, as we talk, Paula Reed for more on, for more on this. The, the, concept, the idea, Paula, of the special counsel, I know, is something that you've been reporting out on. Why special counsels to investigate Donald Trump and Joe Biden and no special counsel for Mike Pence? As we now know, as Caitlin just said, no criminal charges will be sought, according to this letter. There are a lot of reasons here, but the biggest reason that President Biden and former President Trump have their possible mishandling of classified information investigations overseen by a special counsel is because of who they are. Of course, President Biden appointed the Attorney General Merrick Garland, so 
Well, he initially had a Trump-appointed U.S. attorney review uh, the classified documents that were found at two locations connected to President Biden. He then appointed a special counsel, because again, it's about optics, right? It's about having an independent investigation. With former President Trump, the two ongoing active investigations uh, that were being conducted into former President Trump became a special counsel investigation. A special counsel, Jack Smith, was appointed once he declared his candidacy. Now, that's the reason they're pretty much both overseen by special counsels, but the actual facts of those two probes are quite different. The Biden probe is much more similar to the Pence matter in terms of uh, the voluntary nature of the searches. No one from the government was reaching out, uh, concerned that there were missing documents. The fact that they were mostly cooperative uh, with the Justice Department, with the archives, and also the volume of material. At last count in the Biden probe, we're talking about dozens of documents. Whereas in the Trump investigation, we're talking about hundreds of classified documents that have been found, uh, multiple searches, questions about obstruction, other questions about the possible mishandling of defense information. And as we first reported here on CNN, uh, among the various types of evidence that investigators have, is an audio recording where not only does the former president uh, claim to have at least one classified document, he also acknowledges his limits on his ability to declassify materials once he was out of the White House. And that's significant because that's been one of his key defenses for all of this in the court of public opinion. While Mike Pence took responsibility for what happened, Biden also acknowledged that this was a mistake. Trump has tried to argue in part that this just didn't happen. Let's toss to that side. All I know is this, everything I did was right. We have the Presidential Records Act, which I abided by 100%. It's a continuation of the greatest witch hunt of all time. It's a hoax. And it has to do, it has to do more than anything else with trying to interfere with the election. So this is an argument the former president has made uh, repeatedly, that this is all a politically motivated investigation. Now, this is, of course, a claim that they could see coming, part of why a special counsel has been appointed to oversee this criminal investigation. Of course, not the first special counsel to investigate former President Trump. But if you look at the facts of what we've reported over this week, I mean, the fact that investigators have this audio recording where he claims to have a classified document, that is incredibly important evidence, we are told. Witnesses have been asked about this. We've seen dozens of witnesses going before the grand jury. In terms of the scope and the legal risk, former President Trump's special counsel investigation poses a much greater risk, whereas at this point, our reporting does not indicate that there are any charges uh, likely uh, in former in current President Biden's special counsel probe. Paula Reed, thank you. Evan Perez, Caitlin Polance, thank you all so much for the reporting. Again, our breaking news is that the Justice Department has closed its investigation into handling of classified documents of former Vice President Mike Pence. No criminal charges to be sought. John? All right, with us now, CNN senior legal analyst Ellie Honing. Ellie, I think there are two buckets here with this breaking news. Bucket number one is the actual Mike Pence part of it. But the actual bigger bucket might be bucket number two, which what it tells us about the investigations potentially into Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Let's take bucket one first, the, the legality surrounding the Pence investigation. What does it tell you that they make clear so quickly that there will be no charges it here? It tells me that this is all about knowledge and intent. Here's why. We know Mike Pence possessed classified documents in the legal sense, in the everyday sense. He had them in his home, potentially in his office. But just possessing classified documents is not a crime unless the person knew about it and the person had criminal intent. And so we can logically deduce here that DOJ concluded they did not have evidence of knowledge and intent sufficient to charge Mike Pence or anyone else relating to Mike Pence. Uh, on my notes here, <clears throat> I'm not going to show people my trick and trash, but I have the word <laughs> intent in block letters. Intent. Yeah. Okay, take us to bucket number two now. Yeah. If intent was so key in determining that there would be no charges against Mike Pence, where does intent fit in the Biden and Trump investigation? Yeah, so let's start with Biden, first of all. Seems to be somewhat similar to the Pence situation, right? Did a voluntary search himself, disclosed that he had these documents, and has denied that he ever even knew he had these documents, and Pence simil similarly denied that and now has been sort of vindicated by DOJ. Now, Donald Trump is a very different story because he definitely knew that he had classified documents. He's talked about it. He's acknowledged that. Then we get into intent. 
What was the purpose for Donald Trump having these documents? And the new reporting by Paula and the team sheds some light on that. He, we know that he held these classified documents and tried to use them to influence some of the political news coverage of him. But prosecutors are digging in on that very question now. And that's what's going to make or break the Trump decision. Did he know that he had the documents? For sure. Did he have criminal intent? That's what they're working on.